Hello guys, PW Dragons here, and uh, today we're going to be doing something a little special. As you can see, I have three clear, empty, 10-gallon aquariums, and what will be going in here is my three species of crested newts. Now, I did have these set up before, but they were the plants were not doing too well, and uh, they're kind of dirty, so I thought instead of just plain old cleaning them and replacing the plants, I do a full gutting and redoing of everything, and I thought I'd film it for you guys. So, uh, what we're going to start off with is, uh, this isn't really a how-to, you can kind of base your designs off of these if you want, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's just kind of to show you what I was going to do. So, without further ado, here it goes. One last metal ring should do the trick. Well, okay. So that should be about it for the main new plants. Now it's time for things like wood. So I got these. These are just basic small, you know, $6 pieces of wood, but they can give the tank a lot of, uh, a, lot, a bit of, a, it's just a little bit of an accent that, that gives the tanks a little more uh, detail and life and I don't know it's uh, kind of nice so these are always nice to have this throw in there and of course since these are three identical tanks I got three pieces and there's a third and I apologize for any cut editing I was having a bit of a well of course right as I said that it stopped working so it might be because I'm talking I don't know but uh, let's see Let's get this last piece of wood in there, and uh, should be good. Keep, I'm keeping an eye on it now, so I know when it stops, so I don't keep going without, a, without it actually filming anything. I don't want you guys to miss anything, but uh, I mean, not that there's a whole lot to be missing. I'm just sticking plants in the tank. Okay, so that's, that should be it for the main plants and the, the driftwood. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. And uh, just fill in, you know, the divots and uh, dents that you make with the plant with uh, some sand, and you should be set. Now, next is for uh, some smaller plants. Now, I have three bunches of aloda, so these will go into the background of the tank, where basically you want to put them under where you're going to be putting your uh, land mass, because these guys don't need much light. Well, guys, I do apologize for any cut editing that's happening. This uh, this camera doesn't really work too well for filming, but uh, it, it works because of the high quality of the videos, so I thought I could use it. So next is uh, just a, a nice foreground plant. It's a... Uh... But yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and plant these, and I'll just buzz through it. Now the next plant that we're gonna do is a uh, is more of an all around the tank plant. These are these are mini bells. Now if you can't see them, let's see. Let's focus for you. No, you can't focus. Oh, there you go. So yeah, these do incredibly well. You only need one per tank, really, because they spread incredibly fast. They'll uh, shoot out a stalk, and the stalk will plant another one. So yeah, they they do very well. So we'll just throw in a few of these in each tank, kind of in the back where they have some room to grow and spread. Well, okay. So the next step is mostly for feeding purposes. 
Now, with these, I like to use simple clay pot dishes that you can just take and put in the front of the tank or wherever you want. So, I do have a few of these. So, now these are uh, going to be a little different in size. I've got two larger ones for the uh, Italian newts and the, the uh, Danube crested newts and a smaller one for the marbled newt because there's only one for now. For now, I, uh, I'd like to get um, another male and a female in the future. So you just stick that there and uh, right in the front where they can find it because this is where I feed them every day and they get used to it so they know where to sit and beg for food now. <laughs> Now comes the last and final step. Uh, we're going to fill the tanks with water completely and then reconfigure and adjust the plants as we see fit. Since we filled, uh, we added the, the plants in while there's still very few water, it's, they're all going to be kind of sideways, so you're going to need to stick your hand into the very icy water. So do it quickly, but um, so you can reconfigure and uh, make sure they look good. <laughs> Well, now I've said it twice, but this is the true and uh, real final step of setting up these crested newt tanks. Now, the important thing is to know that crested newts are semi-aquatic, so they're going to need some sort of land. Now, since I don't have the same land for all of them, I'll just show you each one individually. For Because uh, it fits perfectly, I'm going to be using the turtle dock. It's just a simple piece of foam with a weight, and it moves up and down with the water level. So if you ever go on vacation, or do anything like that, uh, it'll, if, if the water evaporates, it'll work, uh, it'll just float up and down with it so your animal doesn't get stuck. And uh, another thing that will work is cork bark. Now this works perfectly because it floats and, it, uh, and it's healthy for the animal. So I'll put a few pieces of that in there just to give it plenty of space. Now this one's for the marble newts, and marble newts spend a little more time on uh, land, so I'll, I'll give it plenty of space to move about. And last but not least, I got this big old thing. This is just a. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, you can't. Uh, just the. Uh, there we go. This is a piece of wood that has gotten uh, Java moss that has just covered it. And I'm soaking my floor, so I'm going to get this directly into the tank. Let's focus back up. Yeah, that's good enough. And, uh, yeah. So this, this, this works well because it's, uh, it's also got a suction cup too to keep it floating away, but uh, anything, anything will work. That should be about good. I'll uh, change the lighting and uh, get some nice shots for you guys so you guys can see what the final outcome is. And then we'll put the animals in, so woohoo! So there's tank one you can see. Uh, which animals we'll be putting in there are the Italian crested newts. So tank number two is going to be for the marble newts, or marble newt. Tank number four, however, will be for the Danube crested newts, who so far this season have produced lots of eggs for me, which I'm excited to be raising and hopefully eventually being able to sell. There is the one that was raised from an egg to an adult and documented the entire time. So, uh, yeah, settling right back in at home. His crest kind of went down, but uh, yeah, and there's another male as well as the 
female chilling in a plant, where she'll be spending a lot of her time, hopefully, laying lots of eggs. And there's another male in the tank, but he probably swam to the back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's a wrap. Uh, yeah, we got now three crested new tanks. We got Italian crested newts, marble newt, and Danube crested newts. Uh, newt, excuse me. And, um, yeah, so, uh, well, just uh, click that subscribe button, uh, and as well as the like button, and if you are in, like, uh, if you're one of the people that likes video games, check out my other channel, which is Axel Games. If you didn't know, Axel is based on of axolotls. I like to stay on the same subject, kind of, you know. I got themes. So, um, yeah, just, uh, I hope you'd enjoy it. Drop a comment if you, you know, with suggestions for other, uh, other videos. I might be doing a room tour one. I had a couple people asking for that, but, um, I got to definitely clean up some of the tanks first, so <laughs> before I do that, so I thought this would be a good one to do because it's easy, quick, and simple. Uh, well, you didn't get to see all the draining and cleaning. That was not quick and simple. That was disgusting and made the entire house smell like poop. But um, you got to see the good parts of it, so that's all that matters. Well, thanks for watching, and goodbye.